All righty, welcome back. It's Friday, and we're on air. Uh, yesterday was yesterday was trying, but I did manage to get it on. I got it. I got it butt welded on the back, cleaned it up a little bit, and I'm very happy with it. Very happy with it. Jolene wants to come back and show you, show you what we did to it. And uh, actually, we didn't do much. We just finished welding it up. Basically, got it welded up around each side. Uh, but while it's down through the middle, you've seen the big gap ahead and just finished it off. And uh, I'm happy with it. It looks good. We got both directions going on. We got around this. We got around going this way. And we got around going on this way. Got a little tiny bit of a peak where it came together in the center. If I do not like it in the end before I go do any filling or anything, because you know what happens after it, the metal work's done, it goes to the body shop. If I do not like it, I can get in there with a hammer and dolly and just tap it a little bit, put my dolly on the back side and tap it a little bit and play with it. But other than that, <clears throat> very satisfied. It's a piece that um, um, it could be very hard to make, which it sort of was, but we overcome the situation because I, I changed it up in the middle of the, of the job. I didn't, you watched, you've seen what happened. But anyways, I'm happy with the piece in the back. Now we're just gonna continue on. Oh, also, I did not weld the top of it up yet because I got a drip, uh, a water, tr uh, a trough to put in there, I guess you'd call that, for the water. I still gotta put that in there and I was gonna match it up with the spot welds on the top and then I would weld it all in as one. Also, it would close the gap up a little, just a little bit more. And uh, there's no sense me welding it all the way across when I got to put that trough in there and I can weld it together. But today, the job of today is you're going to try to put this fender on this side. And basically what's going to happen is, is I'm going to put the fender on this side and then I'm going to have to take the information and all the measurements and all the whatever looks and apply it to the other side because um, that's just the way it happens, you know what I mean? I can't, um, uh, what can I say? I apply one side and then I got to try to make the other side look the same. As I go around the car, you can see I got a little half a, half a hole sticking right there. If you come over this side, this is the sort of stuff I, I look for. <laughs> and you have to bend down sort of to see them because this one stuck out a little bit. But you can see half a hole on this side. See the half a hole there on that? See the half a hole on that side? If you come up front, it's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. It's not as beautiful as Jolene, but it's beautiful. Jolene looks amazing this morning. She's going to give me a hand, and you'll see. Got a little hole there where I cut that back like that. Got a hole there. You can see a little bit of a distance going on there. I come over this side. This is stuff that I look for as I'm looking at the car. That's the stuff that you sort of, I got a hole there and I got a little bit of distance there and I didn't even, you know, I mean, it's basically going on the same way. Um, if we're off an eighth or if we're off a sixteenth, you would never know. If you're off an inch, when you move it back, you're off half an inch. So if you're off that much, your eye would never know that. So um, if you're off a little bit, don't worry about it. Keep on cruising. No one's going to know. And you won't even know in the end when you're all done. Uh, but basically, this fender does not fit the hole. And you're going to see because we're going to try it on. It fits the hole, but this metal here does not fit on, onto the fender. And this is where I'm going to have to work it to make it work. And that, that what I'm going to have to do is use, um, use my brain and try to make it work uh, for this application. Because this piece here, the wheel well we put in, is coming out straight. This, this fender here is tucking down on this side. So that's, you know, it's really, it's, I don't want it tucked down. I don't want that in them holes. I'd like to have, have it at the peak of the fender. What I mean by the peak of the fender is the tallest part, the, the, the greatest height of the fender. And it looks like right along that area right there, it looks to me like it's the, the tallest part. Also, I have to keep in mind where, the, where I've got this cut off here and I've got it welded on the bottom and I've got this coming out straight. This piece here, I have to have it, and I'm gonna to have to do it right in front of your very eyes. Um, this here, I got a line coming here. I'm, I'm thinking that the running board comes along there because that's where, it's, that's where it's showing me, that the running board comes along there and goes straight across. And we'll keep the same distance from there to there, from there to there, so we'll just keep going across. And that's basically the same distance, basically. 
And I guess maybe that's why I do not mind. I do not mind not using a tape measure because you can eye things up and see if it's okay. And if it's not okay, basically you're never going to see it with your eye anyways. Uh, did I tell you it's Friday? It's Friday. So when you get home this weekend and you get, you know, had a long day at work or a long week at work, it's the day to go in and work on your project to get something done. Set a goal, you know, set a goal. But anyways, this is what, there's where the running board would go on, I'm thinking. So what I'm automatically thinking is this piece here, I do not want my running board hard up against this. Do not want my running board hard up against this. I want a gap, I, I'd probably say half an inch, half an inch probably would be a nice gap, half an inch, you know, finger width, I guess. So if, if I come along here, even if I did a three quarter inch gap, I could put a piece of tape across there, which show me the line. Not sure yet, just I'm just kind of thinking in my brain what kind of gap I want to put in there. I want at least a half inch underneath the door all the way up to the front. So basically this is going to be my starting point right here. That's my starting point. If I put a line on there, I'm going to get Jolene to help me put this fender on. We're going to clamp it on. It's got a couple C clamps there. Like I said, we've already stuck it up in there, and there's a big problem going on around the back compared to this. And if we remember, well, if we remember right, the wheel wells on this car were chewed up quite heavy with weld and all that stuff. And, and in actual fact, the fender bolted on down about here somewhere because it had a, a 45 going in there where that sort of laid in there, or laid underneath there. I don't even know if this is a fender that fits the car. I don't look like it actually. It, it might be. It's a, this is a 39. Anybody has a 39 Ford fender for the passenger side, I need one. I haven't got one. Um, but anyways, this went on the inside and, and bolted up through here. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna weld them on and on the back, we're going to make the fender wider than it originally was because we're going to bring it out with that metal and I'm going to look at it, see if I like it, and then I'm going to weld it on. Also, the wheel is not going to be in the center of the fender. The reason being is because we've got a different wheelbase and it does not, when we put the car on the first time, it still didn't line up in the back, even got it moved back a little bit, but it does not matter because we're going to use these monsters. We're going to use these monsters. So when we put these monsters on, the wheel opening of the fender does not work. If you can, if you can see, the, it does not work. The wheel is bigger than the fender itself. So I'm going to show you, just so you all both know. That does, that does not work. So we're going to be able to... <laughs> So we're going to have to stretch the wheel opening. Um, so that's, that's a good thing because it does because the wheel base is not right. So when we, when we put the fender on, the wheel is not going to be in the center of the opening. And that does not matter because we're going to adjust it to make it fit this tire instead of that one. Uh, if just to get it just to get it in perspective, this is a, that is a 235, a 235 in the front. So my littles are going to be a, a 15 inch. 235 tire that's a big tire but this is a lot bigger anyways that's what we're doing and we're gonna we're gonna get at it so we're gonna apply this fender I'm just looking at it right now um, just looking at it right now I want to what do I want to do I'm gonna make the mark where I want Jolene to squeeze it on at front maybe I'll get her to hold the back and I'll squeeze it on the front but I can see right now I don't like I'm bring that down a little bit Bring that line down a little bit. And I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna put it right half inch above that. I'm gonna give myself a half inch or that much. So I'm gonna put that piece on this line. So that, that this right here is gonna go on this line here. They're gonna have a half inch gap and that's where the running board's gonna go. Hmm. Not quite sure a little bit. I'm gonna, I see I got a little piece right here I wanna knock down first. I'm gonna straighten that out with the flapper wheel. We'll get at her, let's get at her, pitter patter, let's get at her. Alrighty, I'm taking, knock this off. And this is gonna be a trying thing to get this put on, but that's the name of the game, to make it work. 
That's what we did on the back panel. We made it work. It took a little bit, but we got it. We'll soon have a body made out of this thing that anybody would desire, is what I'm thinking. We'll soon have a body made out of it. Oh, I want to, I want to apologize to Roger yesterday. His wife probably had to wait a while to get supper cooked. <laughs> Just a joke. Um, all right, let's do it, baby. I'm going to get you to put the camera down, please, and thank you. Joey's going to help me for a second. We're going to, we're going to put this thing on and get it in the best position that we can. And then I'm going to go with it and, and make it work just like I did the back panel. Um, I had to massage it, had to beat it around a little bit, had to cut it a little bit more, had to tap it, had to do whatever. But one thing I did not do is beat it all up with a hammer. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but no hammer marks. No hammer marks. No hammer marks and that sort of stuff. And you have to realize every time you, well, sometimes, you know, you forget, but... Every time you hit something with a hammer, you are stretching it because you're flattening it out, you're stretching it. Also, when, you, when you're, whatever, when you hit something with a hammer, you are stretching it. So uh, just realize that in your own brain when, you, when you're doing something. I'm going to get Jolene get a pair of gloves on. Probably That's probably the best bet, get a pair of gloves on. Jolene looks amazing today. She always looks amazing. Alrighty, I'm going to give you these. I'm going to take these. I'm gonna, you're gonna hold, just hold the back up. What I want you to do, sweetheart, I just want you to get a line going on there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should, um, I'm just gonna take a black marker and draw the line on the fender. I'm gonna go right in the center of the tail light. I'm sort of just hitting the peak of the fender. Well, not sort of, I am. And if it doesn't hit on that line exactly, sweetheart, don't be upset. Do not be upset. Okay. Okay? Yep. Do, 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 do. Gloves. All right. Get this up there. I'm going to get on my buttocks. Yeah, you just hold. Hold steady, sweetheart. Hold steady. I'm going to put this on my line. Now, now's the turn, chance to see. Just going with that mark up there. I'm just going to go like that. Beautiful. You are just beautiful. I'm going to take that off and do that again because I want that clamp tighter. Yeah, and what I'm doing here now is I'm just looking at the top of the fender there's a peak up there I see and it's not on my line come ahead just push yours up a little bit there you go sweetheart I push that in just a hair hmm. all righty I'm thinking to put that in the middle of the. Now this is what I'm thinking. As I look at this down, if you want to, I don't know if you want to grab your camera and want, we'll get looking it over. That's not bad. Looks good. Okay, basically this is what I'm thinking. I've got a few things going on with the fender. You can see right now how that's not fitting up there. Terrible, actually terrible. And I'm not going to be able to push that down, so I'm going to have to shrink it. Like it's just like when something gathers and something jumps up too high or something is bulging, you have to shrink it. But what I'm looking at, not, not looking at this piece, I'm not looking at this piece, I'm looking at that little piece right there. And it runs over the pretty nice with that fender, so we're not bad. 
We're just going to be running over there with that fender, and this is all going to be cut off or dealt with. There has to be a roll done there, but it didn't do anything because we didn't know yet. But basically, I'm in the middle of the tail light, so I'll know for the other side. Looks pretty good right at the present second. This, this sort of stuff right here, um, I'm going to have to, yeah, it's okay. I'm on the peak of the fender, it's okay. But this stuff right here, I'm going to have to deal with. That's hitting nice. What I want to do is I want to look at the fender and see if I like it. I do. I like it. I like it. I like it. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to knock it on. I can play with that and beat that. We got some, we got some uh, weld on there that really wasn't that tight. We've got a half inch below where the, where the running board would go, I would say, below the quarter panel. So we've got a distance in between. We've got a finger's distance in between there. That should be fine. wonder if I can bring it out a little bit more. Just looking at it. And I'm going to start tacking it on here, actually, because there's not much more I can do than I'm going to look at this running board situation. Once it's welded on there, that's basically it's over. I'm going to start tacking it on. Now, what's, what's the biggest job to put this fender on is to get this going right. And also, look at, the, look at, the wheel, look at how the wheel fits. But we, we've got a fix for that. We've got a fix for that. We're good down the back. I'm happy with the back, the way the back's going. It'll go nice straight across there. So I'm, I'm thinking that we're in the right spot. And this is all preference. This is all preference. Like um, someone else can say, no, I don't like that fender. I like to put it a half inch out further or a half inch in further the back. It's all in preference. This, this is what is so fun about doing something like this is you get to do exactly what you want to do. And uh, to get an old car, I keep saying it, to get an old car and to do exactly what you want to do, there's nothing more satisfying. And as you're watching this being done, you do not have to spend a whole bunch of money to be happy. Spending money does not make happiness. Getting another project makes happiness, but spending money. All right, let's do it. I like it. It's Friday. All righty, I'm gonna tack it on. I'm quite, um, quite pleased how quick I was able to decide that I like it. That's what I am. I'm quite pleased to decide how I like it. I'm going to just tack it on here. Just tack it on. I've got one tack. Still move it. Yes, I can. I can still move it. Once I get two tacks on it, it's in place. I'm just trying to... Now, you can tell that we're widening the fender out because in the back, the, the fender would bolt way over here. We're widening it out. I'm not sure how wide we're, much wider we're making it, but we're widening it out a little bit. And I'm not gonna be able to push that down. That's too, see what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have to, to sh shrink it and then weld it on. I thought we, thought I had it better there, but we'll see. We're gonna get it tacked on Ugh. All right, let's just keep going, I guess. I'm going to tack it on. Get my third arm. And then we'll have to finesse it to make it work. And uh, this is all playing games in my head how to finesse it and make it work. I'm just going to tack it on back here. We're at the center of the tail light, so I'll just cut that around that tail light. That'll be a nice place to go with that. This is tight up here, so I'm going to hit it. All right, now it's, now it's time to do some work. Just kind of wondering if I'm going to be able to cut that, you know, we you know where I've got that on there now, and it's not, just wondering if I'm going to be able to cut that. 
We're going to soon find out. I can tell you that right now. Alrighty. I'm going to tack it in a few more places. Then we're going to start running our zip cut up through there because we don't want that fender. We don't want that fender hanging in there that we got going on. So we're going to zip it together. I'm going to get a pair of clamps. Someone was asking about basic tools to get started in this game. I think your basic tools would be a grinder, some clamps, a DA, you're not allowed, not allowed to play music during the videos. That was one of the hardest things doing, doing TV, was you, we were not allowed music. Alrighty. Clamps, grinder, clamps, welder, a DA. I'm gonna put that on there. I get it there because it was tight. I got a big gap going on there. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to turn that down. We're going to end up putting a piece in there all the way along where we've got that inner fender welded on, like the back here, to keep when we mold these on and fill them out. We do not want anything going wrong. So what I'm going to do here is, is I'm just going to, I'm just going to go along here. <clears throat> just wonder if I should use self tappers instead of welding it because I'm going to zip cut that all to fit that piece if I use a self tapper it might pull the fender up a little bit and hold that metal down so I'm going to put a self tapper in it and I can fill the holes after Come on, self-tappers. That's what we're going to do. Put self-tappers in it. That way there, instead of me just beating this metal down, I might even be able to pull the fender up a little bit. So it's kind of 50-50 got going on there. And the fender can move just as well as the, the metal going down can. Turn that off. Right there anyways, we're going to just check it out, see what happens. And if it doesn't work, well then we'll back off and go back to the welder. That's what we'll do, we'll back off and go to the welder. Self-tappers are good, I enjoy them. They bring your metal together. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens here. Bum, bum, bum. Get that plugged in. Where'd the drill one go? Beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. Beautiful. <clears throat> See if I can bring that in a little bit. Ooh. See how much tighter that brought that? Be a hard time getting that. See what happens. You can see.
go easy on everything. Easy does it. And the holes will have to be plug welded up again. There's a bunch of welding that'll go on, so everything's good. Now it's on a slant, so I don't know what's going to happen there. I'm gonna go right here for a second. See what happens. Just because it's more on a flat. I'm starting to angle down on the other side of that fender. I'm just hoping that the, the self tapper doesn't take off. See what I'm saying? Self tapper took off. Okay. What's that, sweetheart? I was thinking about doing it from the underneath, but um, am I going to get the right line? Am I going to come up through the right spot? You know what I mean? Take this welding. I can do that. Yes, I can, sweetheart. I was thinking about that. And then... Kind of hard going on his here because it's round. But. Get my head out of there. All right. Be welding a piece of metal up further than where we, where we got this spotted on up to here down to here so we, we're going to fill that void in so when we put it on it's not gonna... okay i'm going to tap it on with the welder I just want to get it where it's tight. Now, just keep going, I guess. Just keep going. This is going to be the hardest spot. Well, it's going to be hard too, but we'll get it. We'll get it. That's the way you have to look at it too. We well, have to look at it. That was a good call calling from inside there, sweetheart. Good call. Good call. Just want to get all that. We're getting away from our from our peak of our fender a little bit, but when we put the piece that comes down in through here, I keep saying that, stressing that, because we're going to have to do that. Just going to get it in place. So I'm going to I'm going to end up just keep going here. I'm going to end up running the grinder on this line that I had this on and butt welding this fender on to get rid of all the excess underneath. And then we'll overlap, then we'll put it over here and over there, and then you won't see anything. All you'll see is a, is a butt weld that goes down through. I had to talk to myself about that one.
Good. Got a little bit of a gap going on there, but I think that you know what I'm going to do with that. Good. Where I've got that going, I'm happy with that. I think I'm going to start with the, with the zip cut and get that fit. I got that tacked in the back. I'm going to have to deal with this on its own time. So I'm going to take a zip cut and I'm going to start buttoning it on. <clears throat> and I also, and I have taken and cut it from underneath after I walled it on, cut, just score it underneath and then pull that piece off. Could be a possibility too, but it's right there. Too easy to do it this way, I guess. So I'm going to go for it. No, I'm going to keep on going. Just going to keep on going, get it on there, and then I'll zip it and put it on. That's what I think I'm going to do. Change my mind a lot, I know. But now, on this piece here, I have to take metal out of this to get this to come down to that fender. I like where it's sitting in the back. I like that we're on the... I got her widened out there ways I did. I changed it when I pulled it out a little bit. I did. But I like it. So, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to shrink this, and I'm going to shrink it. I'm going to cut. I'm going to relieve that. And then I'm going to push that down. And then I'm going to lay this piece over top of it and do the exact same thing I did underneath of that thing right there. The roll pan. I don't know which what side I want to do first. Where I want to go first, not even sure. Let's just let's just go right here. I'm gonna plug that in, see if it works. Turn this off. Oh, don't want to do that. Then things will be all over the place. You'll have to forgive me on this one. Like I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen or what's going on or what I gotta do. To make it work so I'm just kind of I'm on the seat of my pants man I'm just doing it the way I think so if I think if I cut it up over here somewhere I'm thinking I'm going to be able to push that down and then I'll have to deal with it when I get here so I'm, I'm just guessing right now that I'm going to be able to push this down if I zip it here good guess no, see, look, got a little bit of a gathering going on. No, I think we can get it. Let's do this. So we're going to have to butt weld that back together. That's fine. We've done that before. Alrighty. Probably should just left my helmet on. I used the hammer, didn't want to put any marks in it. I think I want to start up here. And the reason being I want to start up here, because... <laughs> then I can run anything, if it buckles, well then I can run it down this way. If I start here, push that down, then I might get a buckle in the center and I have to cut it again. Don't want to do that. I want to do that. Buckles, I want it to see. Stop it. Stop it. Hooked on my mic. Here we go. We're working it. Cool. Now, I'm going to have to do it again. That's okay. Got to do what I got to do. So now, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to guess. I can't push all that down. It's too much. So I'm going to take, I'm going to go over here somewhere, I guess. This is all this little flat piece. It's straight. If there's a lot of curve in that whole thing, see, that's what's making it strong, that curve in there. So I'm just more or less going to take this out here, and then I'll push this bit down. <laughs> Gonna 
work. We're going to tack that down, then we'll have to zip that again. You can see how it's overlapped there. Let's start up here. Let's get it really tight. Good. You can see I need to zip that. Now I'm just going to follow the line that's on the top. Let's do this. So it's nice, so it feels good. Oh, my spot weld come off. I'm gonna put my helmet back on. <clears throat> you know, it's a guessing game, but it's a fun guessing game. funny like that zip weld or that where I zip that will almost come right back together so that's how I knew I was shrinking it when you cut that and you beat it down just gonna put it right in the middle of the good awesome That right here, I'm gonna knock this down. Hmm, didn't want that, but it did it. Didn't want that. I'll be able to hit that back out when it comes time. Just gonna put it down here. It's okay. And what I didn't want is I got that down a little farther right there. So you can see I got a little buckle in that, but I'll put, bring that back up, obviously. Let's do it again. See how it's overlapped there? We're going to have to do the exact same thing we did on the top one. That went well. Then I'm going to use the zip cut and I'm going to use this line. I'm going to cut the zip cut with this piece of metal because it's got a line there. It shows me where to cut it. up a little bit so I can make that look good. How do I get underneath that? I'm gonna get down for a second. I'm gonna get down. Spot it over here. That worked out nicer. Yeah. I weld that back together, anyways. That's going to fit. I'm going to take that out a little bit. I'm going to push that down. Not weld that together. I'm not going to do it on the fender because I'm going to cut the fender. Good. 
Awesome. Let's take a look back and look at this thing. That's coming down. Peak of the fenders over here a little bit. That's fine. When when I'm when I'm actually um, doing this, as this comes over, and I beat this down, I lost the peak. If you know what I'm saying, the peak is basically over here, peak of the fender. So I've got a little bit of a, a spot where it comes down, and then the fender comes up a little bit. But I think that's a good thing when it comes to filling it out. I think that's a good thing. Let's do another zip cut. This one's got quite a turn on it, so I'm just going to go closer. It's got quite a buckle on it, so we're going to... Okay, we're going to push that down. Nail it on the fender. cutting this. You see them two lines come right together. piece going in here like this all across there remember just check and see if it's good I'm gonna cut across there so we can get that one a little bulge going on there it's not bad though There go. You can see how much metal had to be taken out of that. You come take a look, sweetheart. You can see how much overlaps. Watch. See how much overlap is going on? Lapping on that. Have to cut it around that tail light. It's going good. It's going good. Yeah, I like it. That's good. Got a little high spot right there. All this is going pretty good, I think. Nope. 
caused myself a problem. So I'm taking hold that down, then zip cut it. And this, and this method that I'm doing is and when I'm cutting that and then button it together, it's the exact same thing we used to do when I was helping out doing carpentry work. If you wanted two moldings to fit together nice, put them together, put the chop saw through it, and then it's going to fit perfectly. It's basically the exact same thing. Do I like that? I do like that. I like you more though, Jolene. <laughs> I want to beat that down some? Maybe. See how that line, because you, you can see that that shrunk when I put that together. Because <coughs> you can't get the zip cut through it again. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. Where I can't get, the, where I already put the zip cut through it, it should go back through. But where I can't get the zip cut through it, you can tell that the metal is coming together. It's bunching together. Alrighty. Now, what I want to do is I want to cut it around that tail light. That wasn't so bad. No. That wasn't so bad at all. I was all nervous. No sense being nervous, eh? Just guessing this. Does it look like it's matching the other side? That's all I'm doing, just trying to match the other side. thinking is if I come this this is what I'm thinking you can see the fender how the fender from here this tail light rolls right in here there's a big chunk of metal on this side on the other side screen here there's a big piece of metal on the inside here that gives that tail light or gives that structural structure I like how this is shaped right here so what what's going to happen is when I butt well, cut this all off in here and start butt welding this together, I'm going to go inside and cut around that tail light piece, take the structure away from that little piece, and then pull this out to match that. Basically, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. Or should I take and shrink it and put it into that? And then it'll be. I like this shape here, though. We'll see what happens. I'm going to leave that for now because. I like it. Now, what I'm going to do is just step back and take a look. Good. Good. Awesome. that down. I'm going to start tacking it on. Start putting that fender on. Just want to tack it because I don't want to weld the metal underneath. It'll be just hard to get it off as, as if I put it on there. Trying not to penetrate all the way through the metal, well, that piece of metal back on. I don't want that. I don't want that.
She'll be all one here in a bit. Everything can be hammered and dollied after if you want to play with it. Put that there. Continue on. cruising. This way. Beat that together later. <laughs> Those 
spot. Don't want to weld the metal underneath of it and it's hard to get it off. going. This one's going to be a little bit harder. Bop, bop, bop. I'm going to cut that off back there. It's good. It's good. Oh, we ready. <laughs> Take this one off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, cut this one, spot this one up here. I'll finish cutting it there, do no welding there, and then I can maybe tap up on the fender on the inside. Tap it up once I cut it, and then put that back together. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Hammer. That holds that? No. I think that zip cut's done its job. Let's put that back on there. It's almost nice just to nail it right back on the on the spot you cut it. That way there you're not welding the two pieces of metal back together again. I'm gonna get another zip cut. See if I can get that piece off. See what happens. Stick with us. We're gonna give away a hat or a shirt today, aren't we not? Mm -hmm. We got uh, We got the computer here today, and uh, this is the job that I wasn't really looking forward to, but it's going very, very well. It's going very well. Very well. Very pleased. Yesterday I was a little bit frustrated, but that's how it goes sometimes. Something like this, you just never know what's going to happen when you get into it, and it's kind of how fast you deal with it.
stop it. Fits so good right there, I had to do it. Good. Good. I got it zipped that cap that far. I do. See, now I can push that fender, that's nice, push that fender up. That's what I was thinking. If I just left that alone for now, instead of pu putting that together, I can push that fender up a little bit better. Yeah. Put a weld on that. It won't take off. Oh, one inside there, isn't there? Head of that off. <laughs> hmm. I couldn't get it off. Right. Gonna go underneath here. Cut that off. dangerous stuff but ah, there we go now it's all massage work I've got a little bit to take off down the bottom down there haven't got that got done but now it's all massage work and I left this alone I cut this now I can push this up a little bit maybe Make it fit just a little bit better on the inside. Tack a little spot, knock it up a little bit. Tack a spot, knock it up a little bit, and go along like that. Basically, now what has to happen is it has to be welded up, and then made this piece made go from. We're going to go up a little higher, and bring it in there a little bit, all the way around, so it does not go anywhere when it's welded on because it's welded on. Now all I have to do is do it on the other side and try to make it look the exact same as this side. Looks good. Looks good. Very best I can get it done for now. And what you can see is when I put the when I put the wheel on. Let's get my hat on here. It's Friday. We're going to give away a hat or a shirt, but when I put the wheel on, this is one thing I've checked out. Excuse me, Fina. You really wouldn't get the look I'm going for unless we had a wheel like this. If I center, I've got to get some rims actually. What I did is I just kind of centered up the tire in there. Perfect distance right there. Perfect. To me, you know, if it's going to work, it's going to work. Right, that's perfect distance. So basically what's gotta happen is, and I don't mind 
this distance. This is fine. This distance here is fine. So basically what's going to happen from the largest distance from here, that's got to be moved over. This has got to come over here. So this wheel lip has, has to come over here and have a, you know, it's got to come over here somewhere. You can see where I drew a line on that, but I was playing with it, but you can see how that's going to work. The distance in there, then it's going to make my look, my, my wheelbase is going to be exactly where it should be. Because the wheel, because I'm going to center that wheel lip to that wheel. And you can see how the wheel is in the center of the rim. It might even have to go ahead a little bit, I'm not sure. But basically that's going to be another step, but I have to get, no, I don't have to get, yeah, I should have. Um, it's got, I can't get that tire on, I can't get that tire on with the rim. So I'm going to have to cut it, cut a piece off it, put the tire on, and then make the wheel lip. So basically I'm going to have to come in here and cut it, cut a piece out of this, put the tire on and the, the wheel on, and then make the wheel lip go where it needs to go to make it work. So we've got one fender on. And we're going to continue. We're going to have to weld that all up. We'll do the best we can make it look and grind it up the best we can. And uh, I'm happy with it. We're, we got enough. Looks good. We've got a half inch below the quarter panel. That's good. You know what I see for running boards? I see exhaust pipe <laughs> going down on the edge of that one. Exhaust pipe going to the front fender on that out there. And then we'll sheathe it in where it works. One back fender. Let's go give away a hat or shirt. That was sort of fun and uh, sort of fun. I think it's going to work out just fine. It'll be nice when we get it all cleaned up and that way there it'll really look good. But there's quite a bit of welding there and uh, cool. Now we're just going to have to make that side <laughs> look like that side. That's, sometimes that's the hardest part. All right, that worked out all right. That worked out. That worked out all right, sweetheart. That worked out all right. Sometimes I have them fenders. I have just welded them on, and then go underneath, and then zip cut the the piece off. I have done that, and uh, it's not bad to do it that way either. You can get a nice, clean, straight line. Uh, I find with the with the butt welding that on there like that, I'll have a mess underneath there with the welder or the grinding marks a little bit. Um, there's a couple ways to do it, that's for sure. Um, I just don't want to get underneath the car and have sparks flying in my face. That's basically why I did it that way. I think we may need to open the door. Gonna open the door. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. Oh, who's that guy? <laughs> Had a friend and his girlfriend stop in the other day. Andrew Spears dropped in. And his girlfriend was riding around on their Harleys. And uh, he's got a car that he's going to do. And uh, I think he's going to end up putting a floor in it like we put our, in our car. And he's going to come down and get some panels rolled. 324 comments. Thank you very much, everybody. You can't win unless you comment. That's a hat or a shirt, that is. Bald and dangerous. I know that guy. <laughs> this project is coming along nice. Thanks, Chad and Jolene. Thank you very much, Bald and Dangerous. We appreciate it. You win a hat or a shirt of your choice, and you deserve one anyways. You're doing a good job with the live chat. Um, he's the moderator on there, Bald and Dangerous is. You got Benton and Copen. Or Jim Copen. Jim Copen. They're the, the moderators. They do a fantastic job. If you want to go on there and live chat with them guys, I suggest it's, it's fun. Um, I've met a few of them, you know what I'm saying? Also, I forgot to say that I met Henry at the Toronto Car Show, the guy that donated the air ride for, for Elvis. Very nice man. Henry! Um, yeah, met him. That was good. I've um, got a couple gifts at the Toronto Autorama. Uh, not Autorama, Motorama. Um, a guy bringing in a FINA truck, which was cool. I enjoyed it. Uh, really enjoyed it. 
Um, got a lot of pictures with people and all that sort of stuff. We've got a couple other appearances that we're going to do. We're going to Thunder, what, Thunder City Speedway, August 13th. And we're going to be going to Australia February, February 22nd and March 5th. We kind of backed off on the Australia one during our summer. We've got just too much to do or too much we want to get done. And our summer is short here, so we want to you know, do what we can. But I want to thank you very much for following along. We can get a, if you want to come this way, baby, you can get a nice visual of the back fender that's going on here. Uh, I'm enjoying it. It's going to look good. It all needs to be welded up. It all needs to be ground. With these welds here, where they're, you know, where the zip cut apart, I can, I can grind it off just like I did on the back panel. I can make it disappear because there's gap there for penetration. Uh, the fender, probably not, man, not so much, but very happy with it. One fender is on. Them are the wheels that we're going to be putting on. I think it's going to look badass. When the wheels goes on, the car is going to go up in the air even, even higher, and uh, that's going to be cool. We want a hot rod, not a gasser. We want a hot rod. We just want a big old hot rod. Thanks, everybody, for coming, and thank, we'll see you tomorrow. Other than that, have a great day. It's Friday, man. Go home and do what you want to do, and I'll tell you why, because you'll be the happiest you've ever been doing what you want to do. Have a good one.